On October 25th, 2016, budget gamers were graced by a card known as the 1050 Ti. For a $140 card to promise GTX 960 performance, it was ambitious, especially for its price, but did it live up to the promise, and is it still worth it today? With the GPU mining craze driving graphics card prices through the roof, the 1050 Ti sits at around $250 on sites such as Amazon. The 1050 Ti launched back in late 2016 at an MSRP of $140, and this sharp price increase has only happened within the last month or so. In fact, the 1050 Ti that I tested in this video, I bought around Christmas time last year for $150. Besides the price, the flavor that we have here comes from Gigabyte. The 1050Ti comes stock with 4GB of GDDR5 VRAM on a 128-bit bus with 112 gigabits per second of bandwidth. It features 768 CUDA cores clocked at 1291MHz, delivering about 2 teraflops of performance. It's not clocked as high as other flavors from different manufacturers, but the boost clock goes up to 1391MHz, and I was able to get a stable overclock at 1709MHz in my personal rig, with pretty acceptable temperatures. The card never went above 65 degrees Celsius, even with a heavy overclock. Yes, my PC has three fans, but even with two, temperatures stayed below 70 degrees. The card draws 75 watts of power and needs a 300 watt power supply. Besides the technical stuff, how does it perform in games? So, the PC I use today is the same build for my $380 PC series. It's not the most powerful PC, but it represents a pretty common budget hardware combination. So, starting off with Battlefield 4. We cranked the settings to medium-high at 1080p, and over a 10-minute gameplay session, the 1050 Ti managed an average of 59.75 FPS, with a high of 63 FPS and a low of 26 FPS. The game actually felt pretty smooth, and it also looked great. There were some good light shafts, and there were also some pretty good ambient occlusion effects. I gotta say, the texture quality looked pretty good, and with 4GB of VRAM, you could probably actually crank the textures up higher. Up next, we tested Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We used medium lighting quality settings while setting mesh, texture, and texture filtering options to high. Over a 10-minute gameplay session at 1080p, the 1050 Ti returned an average of 59.985 FPS, with a maximum of 63 FPS and a minimum of 0. The 0 FPS number came from a loading screen and didn't occur during gameplay. This game also looks pretty good as well, and as you can see from the gameplay, it actually looks very comparable to both the PS4 and Xbox One version. And a lot of the times it can actually beat it out in frame rate. I would happily play both Battlefield 4 and Black Ops 3 on the 1050 Ti. To complete our main tests, we tested Fortnite. At a combination of medium and high settings at 1080p, the 1050 Ti achieved an average of 59.438 FPS, with a maximum of 62 FPS and a minimum of 0 FPS, which also occurred during a loading screen. The game looked great and felt great to play as well, and I gotta say this game is actually pretty fun in this combination of hardware. There aren't really any FPS drops to speak of during gameplay, and it also looks pretty good in the cartoon style is kept even at medium and high settings. So, overall, the 1050 Ti is a very capable card for 1080p. If you're on a budget and don't mind not playing on the highest settings, then the 1050 Ti is perfect for you. However, the biggest downside at the moment is the extremely inflated price. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the 1050 Ti is going for $250 when I was able to buy it about a month and a half ago for $150. At this time, which is February 2018, the 1050 Ti's price sits at the launch MSRP of the 3GB 1060, which delivers significantly more performance. However, with both the 3GB and 6GB 1060 sitting at nearly $500, the 1050 Ti now fills the $200-ish range of cards when it was launched to fill the $150 mid-range. Yes, the 1050 Ti performs incredibly incredibly well for its original price, but at the moment it doesn't warrant the $250 price tag. If you're looking for an excellent graphics card at a low price that can also play at 1080p, the 1050 Ti is your card, but because of the GPU shortage because of cryptocurrency mining, it's not worth its current price tag. If you have one sitting around that you bought a couple months ago, go ahead and give it a try, but if you're looking to buy a new one, wait a couple months for prices to drop. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.